Are names boring? Picture the scene. You're at a simcha, a happy event. And the host stands up as he or she usually does, welcomes this one and that one, mentions this relative and the other, so-and-so who's come from afar, and then, of course, those who are unfortunately not with us, name after name after name, and you're not a member of that family. You're not familiar with these names. Do you find them boring? Actually not. And that's because you appreciate that some people must be mentioned because it's thanks to them that this simcha is actually taking place. It's because of what they have invested, either recently or way back in the past, to enable those who are celebrating to come together and have a most wonderful occasion right now. This Shabbat we will read Parshat Shmot, the portion of names, and it comes at the beginning of Sefer Shmot, the book of names. There are so many lists of names in the Torah. Sometimes the names are familiar, often they are not. And what's particularly intriguing is the list of names at the beginning of our parsha, because actually all these names are very familiar. They're the children of Yaakov Avinu, those who came originally into Egypt. We already know these names, we know these details. Why is it mentioned right at the beginning of the book? So the Midrash explains that the Torah here wants us to appreciate the contribution of these tzaddikim. Each and every one of them, says the Midrash, had a pure soul and was a great person. Rashi adds that these names are mentioned at the end of the book of Breshit in order to provide praise for what people did in their lifetime. Now these names are mentioned at the beginning of Shmot to praise them once they had passed away because their impact continued to be with us. So the Torah therefore mentions names in order to show appreciation. If not for these great, wonderful people, we wouldn't be here as a nation to this day. So what is the takeaway for us all? I believe we should be asking ourselves the question, what does our name mean to others? Not that we want our name to be on lists that are read out or engraved on buildings, but rather, what is the impact we are making? To what degree are we influencing events and people now? And to what extent are we investing in the future of the world? Let us ensure that through our deeds, through our words, and through everything we do, we will provide a bracha, a great blessing for those around us in appreciation of what King Solomon taught, Tov Shem Mishem En Tov. A good name is more important than the finest of oils. And the Mishnah teaches, Keter Shem Tov Oleal Gabehen. The crown of a good name supersedes all. Shabbat Shalom.